Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Judgment. Um, hello again cats. Also, hello Haruka. Hello again Haruka. And of course, the star, Onomichi. Bye everyone. Um, it is now time to go to Theater Square. I was going to look it up, but then I realized or I remembered where I was going. Oh, you're the landlord. Excuse me. They don't see me. No, they don't see me. Uh-uh. Mitsuke da to. You to se yaru. Hey. Mata o mai ka. Chotto shitsuko sugiru n janai ka. Temei no se de ora haji kaita n da. Ichido narozu. Ido made mo na. Kono mama hiki sagareru ka ten da ya. Jigo jitoku daro. Jigo? Nanda so ri. Chiteki butte ja ne zo ora. Maji ka. ねえ、カサイ。お腹減ったよ。どう本当だね。じゃあ、デザートもいいよね。ケーキでもプリンでも何でもくれ。じゃ、じゃあ、カレーはデザートに入れていいのかな。食いたいもん食いたいだけ食わせてやるから。おい、そんな奴の口車にごご
my dad texted me. Hold on. So my parents are getting their uh, kitchen redone. What's really funny to me is it's all getting repainted. But they're just not, even though all the cabinets and everything are down, they're just not painting where the cabinets were. So like, I, I know they're basically going to be putting a, uh, cabinets in the same places but it's like it's just really funny to see like not painting where the cabinets were even though like there's nothing in the way oh it's just funny to me uh-oh また任意の事情聴取。次は札持ってくるんじゃなかったか。なんだところ。やぼなこと言うなよ。矢神さん。はい。じゃあ汚いところですけど。それで何の用です検察内部に裏切り者が一人いる俺が思うにそいつは女だがある事件の捜査資料を持ち出したその資料は創薬船あっおあんたの副署長がカムロ町で殴り殺されたって事件の問題 あんた心当たりはいやまだ分かりませんねまだ分かりませんねそうさ資料の横流しだとたく許せないよな綾部同感ですどいつもこいつも警察舐めてやがる<笑> 話ってのはそれだけですかここんとこ警察もお忙しいでしょうに他に用がなければもう明日泉田検事がお前と話したいと言ってる新谷殺しの件でだお前が応じなきゃ逮捕状を請求するとさ。These guys are just uh Isumita's errand boys. 俺を犯人扱いする根拠は それは捜査上の秘密だよ。とにかく、お前は地検に行って検事と話せ。潔白ならなんてことねえだろ。That... Mm, I mean, they can say that for as much as they want, but that's uh, not at all what you would say to somebody. It's like, oh yeah, if you're innocent, you'll be fine. That seems like you're trying to set a trap. <笑>アドバイスどうも泉田検事は知らない中じゃないんだろなんで疑われてるのか分かってなきゃ弁護なんてできないよじゃあ行けばそれも分かるのかさあなそいつは検事の出方によるわかったよ。お互い誤解を解くいい機会かもしれない。明日また連絡する。ここんとこ俺あの上司にずっと連れ回されててね。
まるで身動きが取れねえんだよ<笑>そうらしいなご愁傷様バイそっちはどんな調子半年前、はしきのテーブルについてたこと友達になりました。ゲームおう<笑>店が跳ねた後、テンダーへ連れて行きます。すごいな、完璧じゃん。しかも跳ねた後って。I miss Date. Sari san's waiting for me at tender. Gotta hurry. So many people. Alright. Did I have a second text? Oh. What are you up to? Oh, just eating. I'm on break right now. Okay, hope I'm not bothering you. Not at all. You're so modest. <clears throat> What are you doing right now, Yagami san? I'm bored. Being bored, I was actually thinking about taking a nap.、Uh, thinking of taking a nap. Must be nice. Uh. Probably gonna die of boredom. Otherwise, I might actually die from boredom. I have a feeling that's why I keep myself occupied. <clears throat> I don't know if any of that was good. Bye, cats. All right. Tender, is that. Yeah. If all possible, I'd like to thank you for helping me. Don't worry about it. But I have to. You saved my life. Please tell me if there's anything I can do. I mean, buy me some food. Implies a date, but it's not as like. I don't want this to just be like, this is groceries or something like that. Like, I want this to be like, this, oh, this is a. How about you buy me a meal and we'll call it even? Okay, I think that's more kind of what I was wanting. Are you sure that's all you want? Okay, then I'm free, right? Now,、uh, are you? Sure. I am too, actually. Great, the, then where should we meet up? Theater Square, got a good spot? Yeah, I think so. Got a.、Uh, I'll wait for you in front of the arcade then. Okay, I'll be on my way in just a bit. Can't wait. Likewise. Should I buy a present? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. I need to know how to talk to girls. She prefers drone racing. As for gifts, she. Okay, that doesn't help me at all.
Everything is telling me that I clicked the wrong one. Hopefully autosave was not there after. I'm guessing autosave triggered after the cutscene. I'm hoping it didn't autosave after the conversation, the text. Because apparently the, the answer is to ask her out on a date. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good, because that was a while ago. I should have saved. I should have saved. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I can salvage this. Maybe I can do everything else. I just wanted to fucking keep it chill so that way it wasn't weird, right? A little of marsh. Hi everyone, just spotting in there. Hello! Thanks. Uh, white pearl earrings. No biggie. Take the taxi. Come on. To Peter Square. So do that. I don't know if I fucked up or not. That's the concern. <laughs> Hello. Yagami-san. Hey, Yagami-san, did I keep you waiting? Ah, you're totally fine. You said you wanted to take me out somewhere? That's right, the least I could do for someone who saved my life. That's right, maybe I should give Nanami-san a present. Maybe another one. This is the one that... Here's something I thought would look good on you. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know if you like it or not, though. Help! Didn't entirely ruin it. Or think? Bet she's happy with it. Hey, I'm the one who dragged you out. Uh, so what's up with the gift? Uh, I felt it would be weird to show up empty-handed. Why don't we go unwind somewhere for a bit? That way you can work up an appetite. Sounds like a plan. Anywhere you want to go? Let's see. Well, I know. How about we check out the drone races? been researching drones for one of my projects at work and before I knew it I found myself totally hooked oh yeah I have a drone if you're interested I've even been in a few races oh you're into drones too never would have guessed you can only imagine how exciting a race can be but the only thing you wanted to do well we could always go for some exercise maybe we could go to the batting cages maybe we could play some darts There's some good options and which one should we go with maybe the one that she seems super passionate about but I show you what a drone race is like. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, I can't wait to check it out. It's 
So this is where all the drone races take place. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. Hi. Cool, I'll be rooting for you. Uh, you know what? How about... what I want to do. This one's actually kind of a fun one, if I remember it correctly. I didn't want to do just the plain one, because that's kind of boring. Oh. I forgot that I upgraded this. Sorry if anyone is motion sick, because this kind of gets a little squirrely. both of their asses. Not too bad if I can only smack into one thing there. Nah, I'm good. Right. Wow, look at you. You actually got first. Guess you could say that. You could say, I'm. Pretty fly. Don't, don't yaga me. You're better than that. <laughs> That's what I call a good time. We can sit down somewhere and chat for a bit. Sounds good. I've been standing all day. That, and I promise to take you out. Currently, I have one free meal remaining. All right, where should we go? Wonder how she feels about drinking on the first day. Maybe I should just go for it. Think we should drink. Think we should drink. What do you say? Oh, you totally read my mind. Let's do it. I'm a genius. 
Can we try this place? Sing uh, Baka Matai. Sure, let's do it. Okay. Tell me a little about yourself. So, Nanami-san, tell me a little about yourself. Okay, what would you like to know? What are your hobbies? So, what are your hobbies, Nanami-san? I really don't have time for hobbies. The moment I get off work, I go straight home and crash out. Dang, sounds like you get pretty exhausted. I do. So, to answer your question, I guess you could say that work is my hobby? Uh, actually, same here. Uh, what a funny coincidence. You work is your hobby, too? Yep, I even work on the weekends. Although that's partially because I need to stay open seven days a week to pay rent. But even though it might seem like my mind's always occupied by work, I'm actually okay with that. That's because detective work is something I enjoy. So, I think that qualifies as a hobby. I know exactly what you mean. You feel satisfied with life because you're consumed with everything that has meaning. Isn't that the best? Nagami-san, do you find your job enjoyable? I do. Glad I chose to be a, a detective. You see, it's important to find satisfaction in your job. As long as you're not overworking yourself 24-7. I understand that. Sometimes it's healthier to just take it easy. Uh... Hi. What do you do for work? Since you were researching drones for work, what exactly do you do? Well, I work at an online advertising agency. It's actually a startup company. That sounds intense. I wonder what it's that's like. Get that a lot. I will say we're pretty prolific, uh, mostly because of our work environment. We've been on TV. We've even been on TV a few times. It's nice because they let us work at our own pace. Plus, our office is really modern. You should see the cafeteria. Someone who works out of a dingy little hole in the wall. I'm officially jealous. Anyway, what kind of work do you do? Hi. Uh, mostly writing articles and blogs, as well as event coordinating. I'm basically an advertising director. But that keeps you pretty busy. You got that right. And frankly, it can be a little draining. Uh, do you have to work a lot of, of overtime? The question is, do I ever not have to work overtime? I can rarely finish all my tasks within a single day. If only I worked more efficiently. I wouldn't have to stay so late all the time. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard now. Uh, otherwise, you'll get sick and then you can't work at all. Appreciate your concern, but I'll be just fine. While we're still on this topic, I'd like to more about your career. Uh, you're the first detective I've met, after all. There are plenty of us detectives out there. Cases, on the other hand, are not as easy to come by. Have you ever dealt with any cases that were a little out of the norm? <laughs> I've had my fair share. Like what? Let's see. For example, it was about a year ago, someone asked me to find a cat. Thing is, it was already supposed to have died. What? You were tasked with finding a dead cat? I don't get it. Apparently, my client saw a cat that looked just like the one they used to own, so they called me to investigate. Eventually, I found the cat they described. And this unique sort of fur pattern, and it liked to be chased around. So after chasing it around for what felt like hours, I discovered it was actually the very same cat. What happened was it wandered into an old lady's house, and thinking it was hers, she kept it and raised it as her own. Oh, so the cat wasn't dead at all, or after all. The client just lost track of it? Yup. Imagine how he felt after finding out his supposedly deceased pet was actually alive and well. Yeah, alive and well in someone else's house. But still, that must have been a relief. More or less. However, there was no way to prove whose cat it actually was. So my client and the old lady were at odds with each other. And how did they decide to settle it? It's a handshake. You see, the cat knew how to shake hands. No way! Cats could do that? Apparently my cat taught it how. So yeah. And when he asked the cat to shake, it did. Confirming it was his. The problem was, the old lady had gotten too attached to it. After all, uh, she once had a cat that looked just like it herself. To make matters worse, that cat was the only family she had. It. Taking it away from her would have left her devastated. <laughs> Poor lady. That's really sad. Yeah, but you know what? Cats seem to be aware of this, having spent so much time with her. So when it came time for its owner to take it back, the cat wouldn't budge. Just sat there purring on the lady's lap. <laughs> really? <laughs> So, it was the one taking care of the old lady, not the other way around. How sweet. 
the client seemed to think so. And in the end, he parted ways with the pet on her behalf. No way. Yeah, I never saw that coming. But he had a lot of sympathy for her. It was the cat lovers of connection. Sure sounds like it. And their arrangement worked out today? Or it worked out okay? Yeah, oh yeah. It was an outdoors cat to begin with, so my client guessed the cat would come visit him every now and then anyway. Turns out he was right. I hear the cat spends time at both houses now. Your life is a lot more eventful than I expected, even when it comes to lost pets. Alright. Sure. We'll ask how old she is. Take a wild guess and say you're in your 20s. Well, yeah. Your late 20s? You really want to know my age, don't you? We do. Then, I'm 29. Oh, wow. Thought you might be around that age. <laughs> you, <laughs> you look old. It's kind of what that's supposed to sound like, I think. Look, oh, you look so young for your age. Yeah, see, not, none of these are going to do anything, because the first day is basically completed. Uh, even if you are just flattering me. You know, I'm just being honest. What about you, Yagami, son? I'd say you're in your early 30s. Yeah, close enough. I'm 35. You look pretty young yourself. Why, thank you. Even if you are just flattering me. What can I say? I was being honest. Uh, glad that stock of yours is gone. Funny out of the picture. Thanks to you, I almost thought he'd never go away. Uh, that just tells you how long he'd been bothering me. Sounds like he was really obsessed. That's a mild way to put it. He was downright crazy. He'd keep asking me out no matter how many times I turned him down. He'd even wait outside my front door. It's like nothing I said ever went th or got through to him. What an awful experience. When I told the police, you know what they said? He can't help you because he hasn't actually done anything. Can you believe that, Yakubi-san? I was scared for so long. And then, uh, then I'm glad he's behind bars where he belongs. So am I. That's why I really mean it when I say you saved my life. I didn't think you'd do so much for me. Someone you'd only met once. It actually got me thinking. Well, what lengths a person would go to help a stranger in need? I only did what came naturally to me. Yeah, I know. It is. You mean you acted purely on instinct? Are you trying to be some kind of superhero or something? Me, a superhero? Guess I'll take that as a compliment. I wonder, though. Is that stalker the only guy you've had trouble getting rid of? Well, there have been other instances I'd rather not discuss. But I should tell you this right now. I'm not the type who falls in love easily. To me, work is far more rewarding than romance. I see. Yeah, so playing the whole relationship game doesn't really fit my lifestyle. Just thought I'd get that out there. Hey, so what's your philosophy on love, then? Curious, Nanami-san, what's your philosophy on love? I wouldn't quite, quite call it a philosophy, but... But... Well, I just think uh, it's also manufactured. People are always falling in love on TV or in real life, and only to break up days later. Everyone talks about romance like it's the number one thing to live for, yet there's so much more to life than just that. Besides, who wants to depend on someone else to make them happy when you can do that on your own? It's unhealthy. True. I mean, it does have its place. Still. I have to agree. There's a lot more to life than romance. So you understand me then? Yeah, I think it's more important to have some fun and excitement in life, but that doesn't mean it has to come from love. Yeah, you know what? That, I will agree with that statement. Plenty of other things that can give you satisfaction, like your hobbies or your career. My thoughts exactly. Whenever I tell people... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I mean, romance will help thing, or uh, usually will help things, but they, like, highest, romance will get, make your highs higher, and your lows way lower, I think. Um, whereas, when you, when you don't have someone, it's kind of a little, like, you still have both waves, it's just kind of, like, less on the intense, uh, intensity scale. Uh, whenever I tell people I'm happy without a man, they look at me like I have a couple screws loose upstairs. Oh. I just want to tell them, so what? I have plenty of other things to live for. Even compared to someone who's in a happy relationship, I think I have it pretty good. I'm satisfied with me. Hell yeah. Well said. <laughs> then I'm in deep trouble. 
Well said, as long as you're content uh, with your life, you shouldn't put any extra pressure on yourself. Hi. Yeah, see, like, not to go into, like, a real dark place. Um, one of my girlfriends in the past uh, definitely brought me to really high highs, but also caused some really low lows. So that's why I say, like, it's... Uh, it just makes things more intense. Um, besides what you do to, uh, what you decide to do with yourself is the important thing. Uh, how you feel comes second. And I second that notion. What's the point of pushing someone into a relationship that you don't even need? No one should be that presumptuous. It definitely has to be the right person. Uh, I'm so glad you understand. I feel like you're the only one who gets me. The uh, idea that there's this void in your life unless you find your other half is really contrived and overdone. <laughs> I wasn't quite shocked. I never thought I'd actually meet someone, let alone a guy who thinks the same as me. I have a walkthrough. <laughs> I have this little bug in my ear telling me what to say. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, because like, I don't disagree with what she's saying. I just don't subscribe to the same thing you know like i think it has a place but people don't need it you're not definitely on the same wavelength well, that's great uh but given that we're kind of out on a date that might not be the greatest wavelength to be on yeah while we're at it why don't we take a picture together for old time's sake sure why not God, you have, like, the... Oh, hold on. Pose again. Pose again, that was cute. Pose again. There we go. Hell yeah. That's cute. Hey, let's start going through all of the, our pictures that we have. Good, good blank there, Yagami. Yep. Be trying to figure out how to do all these QR codes. Oh, yep. Uh, cheating going on there. Hi, cat. Hello again, cat. Ooh. Good, good blink there again, Yagami. Oh yeah, these were how those dates ended. Ooh. Yep, there's another cheating thing going on. Oh yeah, taking a picture of the, the building that was being built. Uh, I forget what that guy was doing. Oh yep, we got the, the vampire doing um, community service. Some more QR codes. Oh, good one. This is when I was grinding out all the QR codes. Good miss on that one, too. There's the white crow. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. This was the, uh, taking the picture with someone wearing red. This was for the Stardust thing. I was like, who the fuck is this? The guy in a torture rack. That one, that one is genuinely cute. Like, I like it. All right, let's see how it turned out. Looks fucking great. I'll send it to her later. in the conversation. Shall we get going? Hi. Yeah, I think so. Look at the time already. This entire episode has been the date, by the way. It's almost 40 minutes. Hmm. 
Thank you for taking me out today, Yagami-san. My pleasure. Thanks for coming with. Did you have fun with me today? Most uh, I've had in a long time, Nanami-san. But I'm glad we went out. Nanami, is that you? I knew it. Nanami, I haven't seen you in forever. Wait. Uh, Yuko? Uh, is that you? Who else? Gosh, it's been what? Since we graduated college? Feels like that was ages ago. I know, right? What brings you to Camarocho anyway? I actually work nearby. I'm your friend, Nanami-san. Oh. oh, this is Yuko. Oh, we've known each other since middle school. Ah. Uh, Yuko? You remember that time when we... Hmm? Yuko? So handsome. Eh? Huh? Forget handsome, this guy's hot! Like 110 degrees! In fact, just looking at him is burning me up and- okay. What should I do? Hey, Yuko. Get a hold of yourself. Wait, don't tell me. Is this fine specimen of a man right here your boyfriend? Huh? Boyfriend? I have no idea what you're talking about. Not me. I'm so proud of you. You finally decided to move on. Move on from what? Is there something I should know about? Don't listen to her, Yagami-san. She's just a little confused. Now listen here, Yuko. He and I are nothing more than... Oh, no, I understand. I won't want to get in the way of your private time. Uh -huh. eh. Well then, Mr. Handsome, be sure to treat Nanami right, okay? Because if you don't, uh, you'll be facing some serious trouble. Got it, I think. Good. Now I'll see the two of you love... See you two lovebirds later. friend you got there sorry she's always been a little on the eccentric side it's been a while since i last saw her she can't change or she hasn't changed one bit thank you for today yagami-san i hope you had a good time as for me i actually really enjoyed myself really I hope you share more stories with me in the future. Yeah, I can't. There we go. Like, it's until the end of the date that it doesn't tick up another level. And there's. I, I was like full for quite a while already. Be happy to. Dang, girl, dang. Sorry about today, Yagami-san. My friend got the totally wrong idea about us. Help. Help. <laughs> Help. Uh. This doesn't help a whole lot. Uh, the, the, totally got the. I, I don't mind. Thanks for understanding. I'll tell you, Yuko is all a misunderstanding. Hey, thanks for. Of course, I'm glad I could make it up to you, at least in a small way. How about another date? Then hopefully this was the first of many, a first date of many. Maybe, as long as I'm not the first girl of any. No, you're... <laughs> well... You are the second. Not that kind of guy. Really? Well, then maybe we should try and match our schedules. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you might be the second. Okay, I have to remember now that there's two of them. Not right now. We just we literally just did that. Um Okay. Uh, 
to tender? Yeah, okay. We'll go to tender. Hi. I had a date, okay? ハンタチマイにミカさんがついた客。この男で間違いない。うん、そう。ハシキとショウナのことはもう確認しました。ミカさんが 橋木さんが上司の悪口ってそれを翔野さんが愛想笑いで聞いてて例えばどんな悪口知ってるアドデックナインって認知症の新薬えあ、ああ知ってるよちょっと前までテレビでもすっごくやってたもんね キドさんはその後でっくないんを開発してる一番偉い人だって。橋木たちはそのキドさんを悪く言ってたんだね。うん。キドさんはさ、後でっくないんで儲けたいって人たちから接待とかお金も受け取ってるんだって。裏社会と
カジヒラの会長相手にセンターを潰せると豪語してたんだからな。ところで半年も前のことよく覚えてるね。だって橋木さん、店出た後誰かに殴られて死んじゃったでしょ。マジびっくりしたもん。確かにな。それに私、アドデックナインのことはもともと知ってたんだ。うちもおばあちゃんがアルツハイマーだからさ。アドデックナイン、本当に早くできたらいいのになって。だから、ハシキさんたちの会話をよく覚えてたのうん。なのに、キドさんが実は悪度いいとか聞かされてさ。悲しくなっちゃうよね。うん、そっか。だか今夜は疲れてるとこありがとうもういいのまあ、助かったよ気をつけて帰ってありがとうサオリさん明日はお店何時に出勤ごめん私今日でやめるんだえ一晩だけだったけどいつもと違う自分になれたし楽しかったマジで残念サオリさん超綺麗だしこれからいろいろ教えてもらえると思ったのに私が教えられることなんてでも他に力になれることはあるかも友達としてね弁護士だったの何かトラブルが起きた時連絡してふんへえ弁護士の友達なんて超かっこいい<笑>ありがとうまたねはいご苦労様おかげで助かったい,いえ事務所まで送るよ星野くんたちと集まった手がかりの整理もしたいですねはい、right, what do we have? Okay. Let's go, Sari. Hopefully, you can keep up. Because I'm running. I s she warped. I'm running based on the,、uh, the mini map because that way I can check to see if there's enemies nearby and avoid them. I kind of just don't feel like fighting them. Oh, good. These guys are kind of close to unavoidable. Yeah, I avoided them. I'm the best. なさい。Why did she dress like this more often? This, this exact reason, because no one would keep their eyes off of me. You are, Kate, 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 k a そして殺される直前までそれを必死に嗅ぎ回っていたで実際何か論文に問題あったのか僕一応その論文見たんですけどちんぷんかんぷんでした今詳しい人を探してますただ論文に問題があるって話はネットでも聞かないですねそれでも
はしきはそれこそ重箱の隅につつくように嗅ぎ回ってたそこでもし何か問題が見つかれば今頃創薬センターは閉鎖されてたかもじゃあその何かを隠すためにはしきは殺されたいや論文一つ守るために殺人まで起きるかね起きるんじゃないですかアドデックナインの論文発表以来何百億って予算が創薬センターや厚労省に回っているそうですそんな大金が動くとしたら人一人死んでもおかしくないです問題は誰がハシキを殺したかですアップルメイドッツをハシキウンタイメイドリーヒヘッドビプリスキルト直接手を下したのはプロの殺し屋だった可能性が高い例の黒いレインコートの男だよそれが殺し屋なら雇った黒幕がいるはずですああそいつはアドデックナインや創薬センターを守りたい誰かだ誰かって誰だ俺なんかには想像もつかないよがそういえばセンター長の軌道はアドデックナインの将来性を餌に悪毒稼いでいたらしいおまけに裏社会とつながりがあるって話まで出てきた八神さんはめちゃくちゃ軌道を疑ってますね<笑>叩けば誇りは出るはずだもしかしたらシンタにも変に創薬センターへ近づくことしてそれで軌道に殺されたってのかその可能性も考えられますただそこまで仮説を固める前に俺はもっと軌道を探りたいでもこの間の様子だと僕らもう軌道に近づけませんよ相手はそれこそ時の人ですしああだから俺らで無理なら代わりに検察に動いてもらえばいいえ知見にちょうど明日泉田検事と会うことになってるんでね泉田検事ってついこの間八神さんを逮捕しようとしてたんじゃ今もそうだよ明日もその件で呼び出されたんだじゃあ検察が俺らに都合よく動くわけねえだろうが話の持っていき方次第ですよそれでもしうまく検察を味方にできれば俺への疑いも晴れるし万事解決です一体どうするつもりなんだろうヤガミさんはゆっくり休んでください。But I want... 今夜はヤガミ。I want side missions. ケンジと話すのはいいですけど、そのまま逮捕されるなんてなしですからね。頼みますよ。よ、いろいろ見えてきた気がするな。<笑>やっぱサオリさんに活躍してもらった甲斐があったろこいちゃなんだがよ。なんかこう久々に血が湧き立つような感じだな事件がどんどんつながってきやうもう少し分けけりゃ俺もガンガン行くとこだぜ OK バイはい。
Oh, I have a gift. All right. It's empty now. Yo. Hi. You gotta stop doing that.東京地検に行ってくれ。泉田検事がお前をお待ちかねだ。なんでわざわざここに来るんだ。電話で済ませりゃよかったろ。虫の知らせってやつが来てな。Same dude. それが心配で来たんだろ。ああ。もし行ったら、無所に殺し屋送り込んでやる。あんたにそんな力はないよ。黒岩にいいように<笑> 警察はどんな証拠握ってる。まさか知らないってことないだろう。いや、本当に俺も知らねえんだ。今回黒岩は側近以外の刑事に全然情報を下ろしてこない。何なんだろうな。そっか。すぐに地検に出頭しろよ。